Hello everybody, it's your girl Michelle and I'm back. I know it's been a while, so please forgive me. But let's jump right into it. Today, we're going to talk about change. Yes, change. As you can see, I have started the change off for myself personally. My hair, different color. You guys, when I tell you I'm so excited about the minor changes I've been making just for me personally, individually, for my walk. My hair was something daring. I love it. It's just kiss of ginger. It's beautiful. Right in time for spring and summer. Um, so I'm so excited about my change. But I also have some other changes that I've been making. Which is doing a little changes around my home. You know, I guess we all call it like a spring cleaning. But for me, I have just definitely been trying to switch things around. Break the monotony. You know, it's changed up a little bit. To change means to transform or convert from the original state or what it used to be like. Let's examine ourselves. First, what is it that you can change about yourself? And when I say change, I mean like an improvement, an enhancement to your own character. Let's not forget, we're still talking about self-identity. Finding out, tapping in to who you are as an individual, to who you are spiritually, emotionally, whether it's in your relationship, your friendships with your spouse, your significant other, on your job. How are you dealing with you and these roles in the different areas of your life? So for me, again, I decided that I was going to go cut and color my hair, and I did. And I, I'm very pleased. Shout out to Anna's Dominican Hair Salon. This is in um, Austell, Georgia. So shout out to Anna. Thank you so much for a wonderful, wonderful job that you did on my hair. I'm so impressed and I'm so pleased. So moving right along, what I have been doing also in um, addition to changing my hair color, you know, just doing minor physical outward improvements to myself, I have also been doing a lot of inner and internal improvements to myself. For me, and as you all know, I always use myself as an example. I'm very transparent. There's nothing that I'm not willing to share. There's nothing that I'm hiding. So I'll be very open to you guys because that's what I want. I want that same feedback to be reciprocated to me. So I'm more than willing to be an open book for my followers. So the inner internal part that I have been improving on, first and foremost, is spiritually. You, everyone knows that I desire to have a very intimate relationship with Christ and with God and to know who I am in Christ and who I can become in Christ. And we know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But let's just take it on a basic level. What do you want to see for yourself? Where do you see yourself? How do you see yourself improving? As a short-term goal, in three months, three months from today, where, would you, where do you want to be? Do you want to be stagnant? Do you want to be complacent? Do you want to be excelling, successful? Do you want to be operating in your career of choice? Do you want to be graduating from school? Do you want to open your own business, have a nonprofit? profit um, organization or donate or you know whatever it is these things also help you to improve yourself giving we talked about giving about a month ago I believe that was the last thing we talked about and giving is so phenomenal giving is so important for you to give and not expect anything back into return so you won't be disappointed so what are those changes that you're seeking for me, again, it was spiritually getting closer and more intimate with God. I do this through prayer. I do this through reading my word, reading my Bible. You know, things being highlighted to me. Just communicating more with God. Just sitting here, talking to Him. Something comes on my mind. What I have learned through this, this short time that I have really, really been being diligent and seeking God and just improving and asking him to change me by renewing my mind daily. I start off by getting up in the morning and I quote, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. It is very important to declare that you are mentally transformed, that your mind is renewed every day. 
we go through so many different things that can distract us, disturb us, you know, that can become a burden to us. It's very important that when we are going through a transformation that we let go and we release those things that are a distraction to us, that we release those things that are disturbing to us, or we have to let go of some things. I read a quote today that said, every person who's with you may not be going the place where you're going, which means that my destiny may not be for my friend's destiny. It may be come along, it may come a time where my season is up with my friend or my acquaintance or that job or what have you. We have to learn that when change comes, we have to be adaptable. We have to be ready for the change. We can't hinder or delay the process because we ask for change and then we stop the process. We step in the way of the change. Yes, change can be very unnerving. Change can bring about anxiety, but change also can bring about joy and happiness and success and acceleration and progression. And we want that out of life. All of us want to change. We want to grow. We want to develop and advance. So, I don't know what your personal improvement may be. I'm not sure what it is you may want to change. It could be something simple as hair. You may want to get up and start walking. You may want to incorporate more water into your diet. Whatever your change is, whether it's major or minor, take that first step. Take that first step of faith. Walk out there in positivity, in expectation. I dare you today to be different. I dare you to walk in your uniqueness. I dare you, yes, I am triple dog daring you to make the change that you know will improve your quality of life. This is Michelle. Remember to follow me, click and subscribe and like. Follow me on YouTube on this channel. Follow me on Facebook at Michelle Cotton. Follow me on Twitter at Shelly D. Cotton. Follow me on IG or Instagram, as many say, at Cutiful Forever. And that's C-U-T-I-F-U-L, the number four, E-V-E-R. Follow me on Google Plus as Michelle Cotton. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Remember, dare to change. Change yourself. Remember to also continue to follow the TIPS program. Teaching, inspiring, pushing self. With the TIPS program comes some subcategories. Categories, I apologize. Change is one of those things. Loyalty is one of those things. Giving is another concept in the TIPS program. We want to learn you. Let's deal with ourselves. Let's learn how to cope with me. Let me improve me first before I can help you. Let me help me first so I can be available to help you the right way. God bless. Have a great day. I can't wait to hear the testimonies about your change. See you later.